Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris at Winston.com. In this Logic Studio tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your pre-roll. Remember, if you ever have any questions, comments, or ideas, you can always get a hold of me, Chris at Winston.com. Go up to settings, scroll down to recording, and here you are. As you can see by default, it has the counting option selected, and it has it set at one bar's length of time, which means when you select to record in your session, it's going to play a blank measure of one bar, and then it's going to go into record mode. And if you have that selected with metronome on, that can be really handy. Give you a one, two, three, four, assuming it's in four, four time. And then basically with record pre-roll, if you select that, it's going to be instead of working in bars as measures as the counting does, the record pre-roll works in seconds. So you can have it selected to play a blank three seconds before it goes into record mode, two seconds, or even a ridiculous 13 seconds, whatever made sense for your session. So it really depends on if you want to think about it as in time, like real time, like seconds, or more musically with bars and whatnot. So once you have that selected to whatever you want it to be, you can close out of it. As you can see, I left it in counting at one bar. I'm gonna ha have it play with my metronome. Go into record. Now, as you can see, a nice little counting. Check out Wingsound on the iTunes store to subscribe to the podcast, listen to some music, and download the free iPhone app that will keep you up to date with all of the latest releases from Wingsound Studios. Just search for Wingsound at the iTunes store.